Hi, Mrs. Farrar here. The book that we're gonna read today is called The Unbudgeable Curmudgeon. And a curmudgeon is a person who's in a grouchy, cranky, overall bad mood. So we're gonna read to find out how to budge an unbudgeable curmudgeon. Here we go. The Unbudgeable Curmudgeon by Matthew Burgess, illustrated by Fiona Woodcock. How do you budge an unbudgeable curmudgeon who really refuses to budge? You might ask the curmudgeon if he wouldn't mind scooching over a smidgen, please. Or you could distract the curmudgeon by changing the subject. Look, a chihuahua on roller skates. Maybe he's hungry. You could offer the curmudgeon a chunky wedge of your peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Chocolate fudge brownies have been known to make curmudgeons budge. But beware, sugar can worsen the curmudgeon's condition. You might try getting the curmudgeon in trouble. Mom! Maybe that'll budge him. Some say if you can't budge him, join him. But where does that get you? It wouldn't be right to bludgeon the curmudgeon but maybe he deserves one humongous nudge. How do you budge an unbudgeable curmudgeon who really refuses to budge? Hugs can budge curmudgeons, sometimes. Reading a book in a cozy nook can do the trick, or not. If all else fails, you could try turning on a favorite song, the one that makes you sing along. It can be tricky to get the gunk off the funkiest funks, but once a curmudgeon begins to budge, you'd be surprised how quickly the grouchiness can vanish. For now. The end. Thanks for listening to The Unbudgeable Curmudgeon and try not to be a curmudgeon today. Bye-bye.